I still have some of my first ever little brochures that I made up for myself and the pricing structure. And I mean, you know, I was a, a young therapist and this is going back, I don't know, you know, 15, 18 years, but I used to go and I'd have to pay for a babysitter to look after the children in the evening. And I would go to one of the houses in the village and do a pedicure and I'd be charging like 20 pounds. And I'd have been there for, you know, well over an hour because, you know, the, the lady would want to chat. And then I'd have had to have paid for the babysitter. So actually, you know, my profit on that was practically zero. Um, but at that point in my life, it was still a, a growing period. And I always felt being a mobile therapist was bottom of the stack. So I couldn't charge actually even covering my costs. So there is an element as you start out in the industry, your chargeability is going to be at an entry point. And as a therapist, you need to accept that. We all have to learn our skill, learn our trade, play with what's working, what isn't. And if you jump in with trying to charge a high ticket price, you're not going to be giving the full service and the quality as someone who has been doing this a long time. So there is an element of not wanting to run too fast because you might fall flat on your face. The, the, the price tag that you can put on yourself comes with the training, the investment you put in yourself and your business. And that's where you can then start sneaking up the prices. Um, I have done many free treatments, many, many, many free treatments, and it might be for press, wherever you are in the country, you might be thinking, right, I want to market myself. How do I do that? How do I get into the local paper or something like that? You, you have to accept that you do give out free time for those things. And when you're looking at building a business, even that concept can be like, well, that doesn't sit very well with me because I'm worth my hourly rate. But you've got to see even those things as an investment. Say you haven't got a marketing budget. Well, actually, that, that free treatment that you've given to a local celebrity or maybe it's someone, I don't know, who's got a hair salon near you and you want to build up a relationship with them to be able to get referrals. You have to see that free time that you're giving to that person as part of your marketing budget. You don't physically have a marketing budget. So what you can do is give your time to then invest into your future growth. So there's elements of that as well. I think what's also important is dependent on what your overheads are. Let's say you invest in a laser. That laser might have cost you £40,000 plus VAT, and you've now got five years on a monthly payment plan to pay that laser off. You need to know your worth in being able to A, pay that back, and B, get some profit from that. So there's the higher ticket uh, treatments that you need to be charging a certain amount to be able to gain all of that. It's all very well that you can, brilliant, I can now fix their pigmentation and their thread veins and someone's come in with rosacea and I just want to do it for free because I know it's really going to help her or do her a cheap price because it's really going to help her. That's great. And you might have that occasional client who you just really want to support and help. But from a business point of view, you can't do that indefinitely. And that's where developing courses comes in. And that's a different way of knowing your worth and structuring your pricing as well. I think a huge factor also comes into where you are in the country or the world. You know, in London, if you're renting a location, that, that's gonna be a higher overhead. Um, maybe you're commuting into your, your place of work, that's a big overhead. Um, so even those aspects, I think everybody appreciates that a price tag in London, because just the general cost of living is higher in London, is gonna sit in the place. But I don't know, maybe you're in Wales, your overheads are gonna be less. So actually your price ticket point is gonna differ from maybe a therapist, you know, in, in London or, or somewhere like that. So there's, I've always said there's an element as well 
do the training, be the best you can be, invest in that training. And I know as a therapist, you will always feel that you can know more, but you've got to get to that point of I've invested and I'm confident in this, put your price point on it. I'm now a manual lymphatic drainage expert because I've got that, I've practiced it and I know my worth. And you've got to go out there and practice your skill and do it. But then you might find that maybe six months long, actually I'm ready to reinvest in another training course, but train, invest, know your worth and do. Um, and that's something I always hear, oh, well, I just need to learn something else to make myself, myself worth it. I just need that little bit more. Train, learn, be confident, and then do.